Uh, okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, I may be kind of excited today because I got something pretty awesome in the mail. Uh, oh, boy. Hang on. Oh. 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 Okay. Hold on. Uh. Well, you guys may have just uh, had the surprise blown for you if you actually saw what was on the box itself. Um, anyway, uh, this is going to be a quick one. Um, as you all well know, other stuff is coming to the channel. I'm just going to buy a camera and stuff. It's been, a, it's been an eventful January. Like, 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 a lot has happened in January, and yet not nearly enough. You know, still, there's still a lot of hurry up and wait this time of year. Um, but yeah, we're now just about into February, so let's crack this sucker open for this Burke's Day. Oh my god, it a Burke Day. Okay, hold on. I guess this went through Chicago at one point. <laughs> so I have a feeling I know what this is. Oh my god. <laughs> There's another box. <laughs> oh no. Hang on. Oh man, this is um whew. it's got little thingies on it. This is a real exciting unboxing video, isn't it? You can't even see the box. It's a boxy boo! Oh yes it is! Oh that's a brass. Oh, oh, it's another box. <laughs> it would be amazing if it just turned out to be like a, um, a real, um, what's it called? A real, uh, 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 Barichnik Kukacha dolls, Kucha dolls. All right, so the box says that this is, I'm going to cover up a little bit. This is an Art of Colossus from Dummy Head Studios. My boy is at Dummy Head Studios. Uh, my buddy uh, Kaksei Fujiwara runs old Dummy Head. I think he runs it. I mean, he seems like he runs it. Uh, Dummy Head Studios is a, uh, they're a modeling, they're one of uh, many companies in Japan that they do modeling, they do effects work, they do. Uh, they do sculpting, they do all kinds of stuff. I've seen them personally working on a lot of different really cool projects, and I've been to their studio many times. And, uh, and, uh, I ran into Kaksei at, uh, Tokyo Comic Con. And, uh, he was actually at the booth behind mine over at Phase 6 and, uh, what was it called? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Man, this is a, this one's a doozy. Oh, man, it's like a puzzle. Look at this thing. It's like got sections to it. I really want to. I really want to preserve the mystery, but I feel like I'm kicking this can down the road a little too much. Still, this is really cool. I'm very excited. As I said, you could probably tell from the music, but oh, Jesus, oh, it's really heavy. Oh, what a packing job, though. Like this is official. Okay, you guys ready? It's powered Red King. Oh, crapperoonie! Oh man. So, Dummy Head Studios. I should just say Dummy Head. But Dummy Head Studios, uh, were working on uh, this thing called Art of Colossus, which were these um, these sculptures of various kaiju from the Ultraman series, specifically Ultraman powered. They're lightly redesigned. Um, yep, Dummy Head Art of Colossus 001 Powered Red King. Yes, this is the Ultraman Powered soundtrack I'm listening to. I imagine I'm supposed to glue that, but I'm not sure. Let's get this out of the way. This box is rad. I am definitely not getting rid of that. Um, oh, man. Look at this. Okay, so here's the thing to know about the Powered series. So, Ultraman Powered was a 
short-lived, like, 13-episode series uh, produced by Subaraya and uh, filmed, actually, mostly in uh, Hollywood, in, in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles area. And it was an American Ultraman series, the only one of its kind. Um, uh, exceptions would... Uh, well, not... I, I, to my knowledge, I don't think there's been any other American-produced, like, Ultraman series. The closest thing would be the um, three-episode pilot for Ultraman USA, uh, and then of course people are going to say, Ultraman Towards the Future, Ultraman Towards the Future is Australian, guys, it's Australian, Australian, it's a different place, but Ultraman, uh, the difference of course is that Ultraman Towards the Future actually aired in America, I remember it, seeing it on American television and being advertised on American television, whereas Ultraman Powered Never made it to broadcast. I believe it was released on a very limited run in Japan and then was um, uh, put out fairly recently on Blu-ray along with Ultraman Towards the Future. But, man, look at this thing. So, Ultraman, uh, unlike Ultraman Towards the Future, which really functioned as its own series, also known as Ultraman Great, uh, Ultraman Great really functioned as its own series, its own thing. Uh, it had original monsters, the Ultraman in it, um, you know, he was, he, he, it's not that, <laughs> both the Great and Powered are sort of intended to be the Ultraman, they're sort of intended to be the original Ultraman, whereas, um, but Great, again, it really has its own story, it's trying to tell, whereas Powered was really intended to be a remake of the original series, and so the monsters were all um, the monsters were all uh, remakes of older monsters. They were redesigns. I have the whole. You can sort of see over here. You can see powered Telazdon. You can see powered Red King. You can see Banila. Um, there's more. I have almost all of the powered Bandai figures, but this is a doozy. This is really beautiful. So this is a powered Red King, and it's a slight redesign from the television version. It's actually based on um, a, a design. Uh, all the designs, as I understand it, all the designs from Powered are based on designs by Masahiro uh, Maeda, I believe is the name of the artist who designed the monsters. He was also the artist who redesigned uh, Gauss, Gamera, and designed Iris and Legion for the Heisei Gamera series, and was the designer of Shin Godzilla. He, uh, he's really well known for having these really kind of Hollywoodified versions of Kaiju. They're a lot more realistic looking. Um, he tends to go real heavy on the detail. His faces tend to be really detailed and realistic as well, like, as you can see, Gomorrah's face, Red King's face here, is uh, very much a, a skull. They really leaned into the skull angle because, I mean, Gomorrah's name is Skull Monster, Skull Kaiju. Um, but really, just a, just a crackerjack figure, it's... I, I, I'm not, I don't usually collect these big, kind of X-Plus style figures, but... For Ultraman, something about them... I think it's because... I mean, I actually have a redesigned uh, Bemlar from the Kaiju Remix series uh, designed by Paul Komoda. And that's a beautiful figure. And this is going to go real nice next to it. Um, this is the... Uh, oh, P if you've watched SSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
just thank you so much, Kakusei-san. This is really beautiful. And uh, I really highly recommend you try to track these down. It's called The Art of Colossus Series by Dummy Head. And there's, there's a, I know there's a Red King, and I think there's more coming out. Uh, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, thanks, guys. Stay tuned on the channel for more stuff. Yes, there's drawing videos coming. <laughs>